Hey, this is Dan Nickerson with another tutorial. Uh, this one is on our Socrates header generator. These are to create headers or banners that will work with the Socrates theme. So you can either use them in our header system or you can use them in our top and bottom banner widgets for calls to action or headers or whatever. So a niche header is essentially a way that you can convey what your website is about in just a few seconds to hopefully keep your visitor on the site longer, of course. Uh, and if you have a, an existing graphic like a Facebook uh, page cover or a YouTube cover, then you can use that same sort of cover with the Socrates uh, theme as well. But what this lets you do is just let you make a quick niche header fast. And so that's why we created this. And I'll show you a few tips on how to use it and a, a way that you can get uh, thousands and thousands of uh, other niche graphics uh, very quickly and for free. So what this does right now is that you would go in here and you would select a background. You can type in a keyword. For example, if you're in the golf niche, you could type in golf and it's going to show the golf banners. Dog niche, cat niche, you know, oops. If you're in Halloween, I have some Halloween, holiday, business, well, there were, there were business in there. Uh, there's energy, I think, is some. So there's all kinds of different ones. I'll add more upon request as well. It's really not that difficult for me to add more of these, so I, I plan to add more all the time now. Uh, and also there is a drop-down category here, so you can see business. There's business ones right there. Energy, games. Oh, no, none in games right now. Uh, legal, health, nature. You get the point. So there's tons of nature headers here. So let's just say that I wanted to have this kind of a this this cloud image. I just click on it, and then it gives me this image. And if I want to add text, like if I want to say, you know, all about clouds, I would do that, and I would do add text. Oops, <laughs> I did that wrong. All about all about clouds, and you can see it. It adds the text right there, and I can drag it anywhere I want and so forth. I do recommend that you keep padding. So don't do something like this because what's going to happen is when the banner resizes and different mobile views it's going to get jumbled up or it's not going to look right. So try to give at least like a 50px padding uh, in here on the site just to make it look better in all different uh, browsers. So you can change the font size. So if I want to change this to 50, I can change that to 50. It will increase. I can add a little shadow if I want to, a little shadow effect. I can change the font, to all these different fonts. Now, once again, if you're in, if you're in the Socrates theme customizer, you can just use these as background graphics, and you can change the the text right on the overlay as well. Uh, so, canvas size. Let me talk about that. So, the, the right now the default is a thousand by one fifty six, but if I wanted to change it to twelve hundred by one fifty six, I could click on that and set it. So you can see that the width just changed. Now you can just drag this image right across as well. And it's gonna kinda it's not gonna be perfectly scaled, but it does work. And that gives you the uh, basically a 1200 by 156 banner. When you're done, you can just click download, it downloads it to your desktop. Simple as that. And then you can upload it, rename it, upload it to your system, and so forth. Uh, so if you let me just click on this so you can see what that looks like. See, there's the banner right there on my uh, screen. So that's how you can do it. You can add more text. So if I want to add more text, I click on add text and it gives me another line. And that could be, uh, this is more cloud stuff, right? And I can change the font size of that to 20, like so, and have that. So as you can see, you can use this for any kind of a call to action for a banner, for whatever you want to do. Uh, you can add more images to it. Uh, and so you can upload any image from your desktop over this as well. Uh, you can send things back and front. So if you're uploading more images, you can send them back and, and forth and so forth. So I also want to show you, so that's how this works. Once again, just you go and you select a background. You can actually scroll through all of them right here. You know, there's hundreds of them. Uh, so once again, these are come from public domain sources and also some, some private licensing deals that I have, which is why you can't necessarily use these outside of Socrates. Uh, I'd say that 75% of these are totally public domain, but some aren't. So here's another design, for example. Once again, add text, move it over, change the font size. Uh, if you just want a color background, you can do that as well. Just play around with it. Oh, if you want to delete what you just did, you can just delete that as well. 
Now let me show you something else. So first off, I rec recommend that if you, uh, after you download these images, images, you compress them with tiny PNG. That's just going to save you uh, probably more than half of the image size by compressing it with tiny PNG. It takes a couple seconds. Just click this link. But I also want to show you Pixabay banners. This is something new I've saw them add recently. But these are all different banners that you can use. So any of these images, there's you know thousands of them. They're in landscape mode. Uh, so if you have an image, you know, let's just scroll through a few of these. Space. There's brick wall. There's there's money. There's a camera. There's another brick wall. There's a plane. There's a, like a cool looking bird. So I say I like this bird picture, right? It's public domain, free co for commercial use, no attribution required. I click free download. I download it. I enter the captcha. Cantagallo. Download. And I'm down, it's downloaded to my desktop. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to resize this, right? So I'm going to go to tiny PNG. I should say compress this. And this is the, um, where'd it go? That's the image, I believe. Download that image. Now I can go back to the Socrates header. I can add an image, choose a file, and this is the one I just did. Upload. There's the bird image right there. So if the, I want to make this higher, it's 200. Set it. That's kind of cool, huh? Add some text, and I can just say, "This is my, you know, bluebird site." And bada bing. That's that, and download it, and I've got a header, which I can then upload to my Socrates theme. So that's what the header generator looks like. Once again, you don't have to add the text. You can just download the image, compress it, then use the customized headers in the Socrates theme itself, and overlay the text. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on the header generator. Just play around with it. You can't break it, and uh, well, maybe you can, <laughs> but uh, try not to. And hopefully you'll enjoy uh, using it and making some cool header designs for your Socrates site. Thanks.